morning. It's Pastor Sandy coming to you with a time of refreshing. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the fairy tale life. Is it? You know, sometimes if we're not careful, we can get all caught up in what other people have or what other people are doing. We can maybe think, oh, look at them. They have the fairy tale life. Everything seems to be perfect. Everything seems to be going well for them. You know, they look like they have the perfect life. They've never had to work hard like me. They haven't had to struggle. Oh, look, they look like they go on vacations. They're having a good time in life. And you feel like sometimes you're having to fight for every single inch. But now listen, be careful about this because if we keep focusing on what everybody else's life looks like and we keep thinking that, oh my goodness, they have the fairy tale life, that everything is perfect and better for them, I don't care who you are, nobody has the fairy tale life. And a lot of times what you're seeing is maybe people did have to struggle or they had to fight for where they are. Where they are is it didn't happen overnight. And sometimes it looks good on the outside, but they still have trouble on the inside. There are still things going on. But listen, let me help you today here. Here is a time right now where you get to choose. Let's rejoice and be happy for others. When you see others uh, succeeding in life and things going well for them, let's say, you know what, I'm happy for them. Me too. Let's rejoice with one another. Let's be happy for one another. And I'll tell you, things will begin to change and move in your life in a greater way. Listen, if you'll take more time and focus on what God has for you, His life, let His story be told through your life. That's the most important thing, not what others are doing or what others have or the more that you think they have in life. Live your life. Spend time saying, you know what, God, I choose today to stop looking at others and I choose to have life with you and have it more abundantly. I choose to let your story be told through me. Let's begin to believe in who God is and what he wants for you. He's doing so much in your life. He has a story that he wants to tell through you and me. He has promises. Yes, and there's still many promises that you have not received yet that are coming your way. Don't stop now. Don't get stuck in looking all around and being ungrateful where you are. Let's begin to be thankful and say, God, where I am is not where I'm going to stay. There are hard days and there's hard times. There's disappointing times. There's things that happen that we cannot explain. But let me encourage you in this. Where you are is not where you're going to stay. And no matter what you've been through, what you will go through, God is with you if you'll trust Him. And He wants to walk with us every step of the way, step by step, day by day. God will walk with us through the process of life. When we trust Him, He will make all things possible, all things beautiful. His wisdom and peace will be born out of our troubles and our trials. And where things seem to be confused, there will become a calmness and a peace. Those uncertainties, God will line you up and give you wisdom. His voice is tender and speaking. His love and assurance to you. It's not over yet. God still has great things for you. He's calling on to us to walk in his calm, to walk in his peace, walk in his blessings. Stay with him. Have hope. Have joy. Have peace. Let your life tell the story of God's goodness. He will direct you into his better. Remember, the fight is not for where you are. The fight is where God is wanting to take you. Life sometimes throws things at us. It's not fair. There's losses in our life that maybe shouldn't have happened, but God is still a loving God. And God says, you know what? I'm going to take what meant to destroy you, what meant to stop you, and I'm going to make your life beautiful again. I'm going to let your story go help someone else. I'm going to take what meant to stop you, and you're going to go full force now into the things of God and be a great blessing to others. 
oh, let's step into God's better. You know, over in Romans 15, 4, it says, such things were written in scripture long ago to teach us. And the scripture gives us hope and encouragement as we wait patiently for God's promises to be fulfilled. Don't miss out on your story because you're looking at other people and saying, oh, they have the fairy tale life. Well, guess what? You can have the God life, which is the real life. It's the real thing. Quit looking at others. Begin to enjoy your journey. Live today for its fullness. Say, you know what? I'm not where I wanted to be. I'm not where I thought I should be. I thought things would be different. But today, God, I'm going to trust you. And today, you're going to make it better. And then tomorrow's even going to be better. And I'm going to choose to trust, God, that you're living on the inside of me. And that you're going to help me to go tell your story of your goodness and your love. And maybe to give hope to the hopeless. Give peace to someone that doesn't have peace. Help someone else that once where I didn't feel like I had joy, you gave me joy again. Oh, let your story go tell. Because I'm going to tell you, your story lasts forever. The fairy tales only lasts for a short time and it's over. But walking in the life with God lasts forever. Staying with God. Oh, he's got great and wondrous things for you. He's just beginning. Don't look at where you are as a, okay, it's not going to happen now. Oh, yes, it will. Maybe it's just going to be a little different. It's going to look a little different than what you thought. But God has great, great things for you. Let his story be your story. Let what he wants to do in you, accept it and receive it that God's got greater for you. Your best days are yet to come. Your best days are out in front. Don't be robbed of your joy and your peace and your testimony of your story and your life with God. Oh, God's got a fairy tale life that exceeds any fairy tale in the world. God's life for you is wondrous. It's full of life and full of joy and full of hope. And he wants you to go tell it. He wants us to walk in this with him. Oh, he's the real deal. Let's let our life go tell the real story that will last forever. You know, your best days really are ahead of you. Don't get stuck and looking around at everyone else's quote fairy tale life. Look at the life that God has given you. And yes, maybe it's not perfect. No one's life is. But where you are today, I want to assure you and encourage you that God is saying to you right now, don't get stuck here. Get up. Let's move forward into the things of God. God has better. God has greater. God wants to take you into the real thing. God wants to take you into his thing, his life, which is greater than anything that the world could ever offer. Let's begin to rejoice in what God is doing and what God is going to do. You know, I want to pray for you right now. I just believe that, you know, maybe you've been stuck, but you're so focused on, it seems like you've been dealt the sucky hand and everybody else looks like they're living in fairyland, but guess what? With God, all things are possible. God will lift you up, bring you up into greater, into better days. Grab a hold of that today. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I speak peace to hearts and I speak hope that God, that there's a faith that's rising up on the inside of them. They're beginning to look beyond where they are and where you want to take them. Right now, God, where the enemy has robbed and stolen from them, Father, that their peace is coming back. Their hope is arising again because you're not done with them. There's people counting on you. People need you to take the next step. Don't stay sitting where you are. God needs you to get up because people are counting on you. There's other ones that were once where you are and are saying, get up. They need your hope. They need your peace. They need to know that God is alive and that God wants to bring his joy and peace to their life. I thank you right now that today faith has arised in your people this day. And they're not going to stay where they are because they've got today, God, the assurance that their best days are ahead. 
oh, I hope today you got something out of this. I hope today you got some renewed hope and faith to know that God loves you. God's not done with you. And there's others that need you. You can't stop now. You got to get up and move on. There's so many that need what God has placed inside of you, that special treasure that only you can go share with others that no one else has. And until next time, keep it simple, my sisters, and I bless my brothers.